And the first one is accountability. We have to learn to, to be accountable to ourselves, right? And so what we have to do is that we, we, have, we have to set these goals, understanding what happens if we don't conquer them and understanding what we have to do to then switch up and make it happen, right? But we have to be accountable. And so there's, there's several ways that you can hold yourself accountable. One of the ways that you can hold yourself accountable is by getting an accountability partner, right? Get someone that you can talk to, get it, whether it's a friend, whether it's your, 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 your partner at home, your wife, your husband, whatever it is. Find somebody that you can talk to about these goals that you're setting and, and say, hey, look, listen, I'm gonna, this is what I want to do this year. I want to do X, Y, and Z. Hold me accountable. Like, if you see me kind of slipping, please hold me accountable. Let me know, right? Because I need that help because we need that. The, what, what people see from the outside in you, sometimes you don't see. And so we need that person in the outside to kind of, like, help us get out of ourselves and see us from the outside in. And, and, and often we might see it as criticism or we might see it as, as hating, but it's not. It's just that we can't see things from the outside in. And we need someone to kind of say, you know what, I see it, you know. So either, either somebody's going to help you get you out of you to look at yourself from the outside in, or somebody's going to see you from the outside in and say, listen, this is what I see. Like you said that, 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 that you were going to sell that many more houses, but you haven't been out there hustling. You just haven't. I'm sorry, honey, you just haven't. You've been kind of here gaming, I don't know, whatever, right? And, and, and so, and so the, the, the first thing that we can do is that we can find an, an accountability partner. That's going to help you, again, keep yourself accountable. Because without, without that, if, you, if you're going to just count on yourself, then it's too easy for you, for you to just let it go. Because if no, one, if no one else knows, then you're good to go, right? And so if I, if I set a goal this year of speaking at 35 events, right, but I don't tell anybody. Now, Gina, she's my niece on the camera. She goes to almost all my events. But let's say if I, if I don't tell her that I'm going to be doing 35 events, and let's say we get to, half, to like, I don't know, the, the June, and I've only done three events. It's looking like I'm not going to reach that number that I wanted to reach. If she doesn't know, then she's not going to say, hey, Uncle Eddie, you said that you were going to you know, do that thing. She's not going to say anything. If, if only I know, then, then I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm not even going to say anything. No, nobody knows. And, 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 and so I'm going to just leave it. And that's what happens when we set these, these goals is that we think about these things, but we don't talk about them with somebody that we trust so that they can help us keep us, uh, keep us accountable. And then what happens is that we then end up doing the same thing year after year after year. Every year we have these new ideas, we have these new goals, but they never get accomplished because we don't tell anybody and we don't hold ourselves accountable. And so, and so if, if you can't find, uh, or if you don't have that person in your life that can help you, then there's coaches that can help you, right? That, that you could talk to them and they could help you, help keep you accountable. And that may even work out better for you because if it's somebody that you don't know, then that kind of helps you a little bit because if it's somebody that you know, then you, you do feel a bit of shame, a bit of, of being embarrassed, right, because of that person. And so perhaps um, getting somebody that, that, um, that you don't know kind of helps us, kind of keep us, keep us um, accountable. Um, and and just, just always make sure that you're asking for the feedback. Like, it, 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 there's, just, there's one thing to have the accountability partner, but there's a whole other thing to not use them, right? So if they're there, then we have, to, we have to listen to them. We have to trust them. We have to know that what they're telling us is something that we want to hear. And so it, it definitely has to be somebody who, you, who, who, who is close to you and who you trust that's going to tell you the truth. And again, those things are going to bother us sometimes. But we have to do it because they're the ones who are going to tell us the things that we have to hear, right? And so that was, that was, that's, that's the first part. That's the A. That's the accountability. 